Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here. Um, I'm live again here for the autograph um, 8x10 collection. Today is Wednesday, July 26, 2023. I'm going to go swimming after this. I'll try to go through um, two binders right now, though, just for you guys, though, okay? So we're picking up <clears throat> here with binder number seven, and I said we're going to keep doing these gradually. I did this past week buy a high-voltage 8x10. Hopefully, that'll be back after my vacation. I'm going to be going away in a few days, but um, we'll pick up right now. Start with um, Jose Luis Rivera. We saw that last photo um, on Sunday with like all his gimmicks. This is just Jose Luis Rivera. And you can see he signed it there on the bottom. as Jose Luis Rivera, and there's the whole photo. So again, Jose Luis Rivera kicking off um, binder number seven. Next, we have Josh Matthews signed over here. He was a um, like SmackDown announcer and commentator. He's like on his cell phone taking a call. So Josh Matthews. Next, we have, um, she was a diva briefly in the WWE, I guess, in the mid-2000s, like, 04, 05. Her name was Joy Giovanni, signed over here. So there's Joy, Joy Giovanni, bikini pic, and just posing there. Next, we have one half of the Glamour Girls, Judy Martin, signed over here in purple. She's just taking on one of the Jumping Bomb Angels in the Glamour Girl and Jumping Bomb Angel feud. Um, we saw a Glamour Girl combo earlier. This is just a solo one, though, of Judy Martin by herself. If anybody joins the chat, I'll read the comments. All right, next we have, um, it's a dual sign photo. Um, I don't know the name of this. I guess there's some kind of tag team in AEW. Not sure the name of this guy, but this is Julia Hart, who signed right here. And that's Brian Pillman Jr. We saw Pillman Jr. earlier in one of the videos, but we have Julia Hart, the cheerleader there on top. Brian Pillman Jr. on the right, and there's his tag team partner in the photo as well, but it's just signed by Julia and Pillman Jr. And there's this AEW photo combo of them. Uh, again, Julia Hart and Brian Pillman Jr. All right, next we have a nice rare one, very valuable, uh, PSA certified too. It's the Junkyard Dog, so he wrote JY Dog. Something, inscription in 1990. So this is some fan who met him on an 8x10 and the Junkyard Dog signing it. So nice cool signature there by the Junkyard Dog. And again, it's PSA certified. That means it's real. So there we are, the Junkyard Dog. Oh, Griff Garrison is the guy who teams up with Pillman Jr. Okay, so this guy over here, um, Rooney, Jimmy Rooney tells us his name is Griff Garrison. All right, this is Junkyard Dog with just some fa random fan, All right? Keep going, and there's the PSA cert on the back. Here's a second autograph of the Junkyard Dog, signed right there by his shoulder. It says JY Dog, and there he is, like, in the locker room. This one came from Scott Ferenzi. So we have the Junkyard Dog again. Next, we have Jushin Thunder Liger. And he was still wrestling on the indies at least about maybe a year or so ago. So it wasn't too long ago if he stopped wrestling. I don't know if he still is or not. Uh, some, of, some of the shows I attended as well. Cool Japanese signature there of Jushin Thunder Liger, the guy in the red and white. He's about to give a hurricanrana to his Japanese opponent. And again, nice cool signature there of Jushin Thunder Liger. WCW star for many years. I think he competed in all Japan pro wrestling as well. And there's a second one of Jushin Thunder Liger with some title belt. And it's PSA certified. Does Eric Sims know what that means? It's real. Yep, it's real. So there's Jushin Thunder Liger. Uh, PSA certified phone. Nice one there. Jushin Thunder Liger. All right. Next, a rare one. This is a guy. He was around in 2000. He just basically he was more of like a low-card guy. I think he even put over the Brooklyn Brawler on metal. He used to spread rumors in the back and cause controversy. His name was Just Joe, and he stirs up rumors. So right there, Just Joe. Interesting WWF um, promo type picture of Just Joe. Not many graphs of him out there. All right, next is a personalized one to me by um, Just Incredible. So he wrote to Todd, Just Incredible, and then he also signed as the Man of War. He's also the Portuguese Man of War, Aldo Montoya. So pretty cool dual sign, Just Incredible and Man of War. I was personally signed to me by Just Incredible. Um, I think I'd pay 10 bucks for it on an indie show. And as Rooney says, I'm going to start over. But I think my thing's working, so I don't have to start over today. <laughs> 
Next, this one came from High Spots. It's signed by Justin Hawk Bradshaw, who is also known as John Bradshaw Layfield. This is when he first started out in 96. It was managed by Uncle Zeb Bakaya, so a pretty cool one there of Justin Hawk Bradshaw with the ball rope ready to yell, Woo! Gimmick, kind of gimmick ripped, ripped off of Stan Hansen, sort of. Justin Hawk Bradshaw. And in the back is the High Spots shirt. Next one, this one's, um, I got this one pretty recently, I don't remember, so it might not have been in my last video from the spring. This is the ring announcer, um, Justin Roberts, signed over there. So a nice photo there of Justin Roberts signed. Okay. Next we have Juventud Guerrera right there. It's a nice one there of Juvi. So that's Juventud Guerrera. He's also one of the members of the Mexicools in WCW for a long time. All right, this one I got from our buddy, Steve Hurt. Steve Hurt. You guys like Steve Hurt? He's funny. All right, their names are Casey Catanzaro. So this is Casey Catanzaro and Caden Carter. I have no idea. They are an NXT or some current product divas. But there they are, Casey Catanzaro and Caden Carter. Um, some current product divas that I got from our good buddy, Steve Hurt, who's rocking in his chair and making sales on the job. Again, Casey Catanzaro, Caden Carter, some NXT wrestlers. We'll see if they ever make it or not, but there's the autographs closely. There's the one, and there's the other. Next, we have a dual sign Kai and Tai photo. So we see Taka Michinoko signed over there. Funaki signed it over here, and even wrote Indeed. And this nice WWF promo picture from 2001. Again, signed in blue. Kai and Tai, Taka Michinoko, and Funaki. Okay. Moving on. Next we have, um, she was the Divas Champion one time. Her name was Caitlin. I forget what her current name is. Is it something Celesti Rooney? Do you know? Alright, but this is Caitlin though. She's the Divas Champion. And there she is with the Butterfly Divas Belly. You can subscribe Divas Champ. So this is Caitlin. Next we have Kama, the Supreme Fighting Machine, signed over here. Kama SFM, Supreme Fighting Machine. So this is when he was in the Million Dollar Corporation around 95 and 96, I guess. Or just 95, yeah, early 96, I guess. So Kama, the Supreme Fighting Machine, also played the Godfather in Papa Shango. Next we have um, Ugandan Headhunter Kamala. There he is with that cool mask he always wore. And he's signed right here in the silver as Kamala by the chest. So very cool picture there of Ugandan giant Kamala. Then on the back is a magazine page signed as Kamala. So signed over here is Kamala on the side. Very cool magazine page of Kamala. And then here's a third signature of Kamala, signed over here. There he is, like, holding up, like, ready to fight somebody. So that's Kamala, Ugandan headhunter. And here's another Kamala. This came from, um, I forget the guy's name. So he, like, wrote some book for him, though. But he got this signed by him at the book thing, and he sent to me when I bought the book. So it's a small, like, I don't know if it's 5 by 7 4 by 6 some smaller photo, though. But it says, Best Wishes, Kamala. And that came from the book. All right, next is the current product diva. Her name is Camille Brickhouse. I'm not sure what federation she's in, but there she is, Camille Brickhouse. You know Camille? Rooney, you know who Camille is? Not really. Camille Brickhouse. Pretty lazy signature to KB, Camille Brickhouse. Next, we have the monster Kane. Sign right there is Kane in blue. It's a nice picture there of the big monster Kane. Here's another one of Kane about to fight Undertaker. If I ever met Undertaker, it'd be cool to get this dual sign. But there it is signed in silver, though, as Kane. It's amazing how dirty these sleeves get. Dude. It's like the photos are fine, but the sleeves are, like, dirty and dusty. But there's Kane. And this one is the recent one. This is a JSA Sermon. I got this one not too long ago, so this was not in my last update in the spring. But there's another Kane signed photo on a photo file. So a third autograph of Kane. And it's JSA certified, meaning it's real. Okay. So there's Kane. And then in the back, there's the JSA sticker. It's also high spot certed as well. And we also have another JSA certed. This is dual sign. We have the tag team champions. So we have Kane over here. 
X-Pac over there. So nice, cool, dual signed photo of Kane and X-Pac. So again, Kane over here by the belt and X-Pac over there on top. That one, I believe, also came from High Spots. Dual signed by Kane and X-Pac. And there's the JSA sticker on the back, making it real. Next is a rare one. Who better than Canyon? He signed right here as Canyon in the black. So nice photo there of Chris Canyon, or Canyon as they say. And again, that photo is not that bad. Just the, the sleeve gets dusty and dirty, I guess, from the storage. But there it is, Canyon. Next one is Karen Jarrett. And that's, um, she manages Jeff Jarrett, also formerly married to Kern Angle, so she writes Karen Jarrett with a big heart. Again, same situation, photo not bad, but the sleeves, man, these things get dusty as hell. Karen Jarrett. There's the full photo. Alright, next one is The Cat. This was Jerry Lawler's former wife. This is when she was like a China lookalike, so they called her The Cat. And China in the photo with her, but just signed by the cat. And here's another photo of the cat. This time she signed um, her full name, so she wrote, Love the Cat, Stacy Carter. So her real name is Stacy Carter. She signed her real name plus the cat. So nice one there of the cat, Stacy Carter. Is uh, the cat going to be at the gathering, Jimmy Rooney, if you're still watching? There's the cat, Stacy Carter. All right, here's a third one of the cat, Stacy. Oh, sure, the cat, Miss Kitty this time. The cat, Miss Kitty. And there's the full photo of the cat laying down. So we have three side 8x10s of the cat. Next, we have Rob Van Dam's girlfriend. Her name is Katie Forbes. So she wrote, love Katie Forbes. And there she is uh, posing to the camera, Katie Forbes. Next, we have Katie Lee Burchill, and she signed over here as Katie Lee. And she's just standing there with her heels. So Katie Lee Burchill as Katie Lee. Here's a close-up of the photo and the signature. Next, we have the lovely Kelly Kelly. Adam Masana collects all her autographs. This is an ECW 2006 picture. I think that's when she was a rookie. So it says Kelly Kelly Love. Lovely Kelly Kelly. Here's a second one of Kelly Kelly. Is this one of those like metallic photos or something like that? It's got some color, some black and white. I don't know what those things are exactly, but there's a nice one. Kelly Kelly with the Divas belt. Here's a third one of Kelly Kelly. and she, This one's JSA certain making it real. It says, Love Barbie Blank. That's like a real name, a.k.a. also known as Kelly Kelly. And there she is. With the title belt, and you see right here, signed in blue, and also JSA certain making it real. So love Barbie Blake, Kelly Kelly. And then the back, you see the JSA cert. Here's another, this one's PSA certain, but another dual signed, um, sexy kind of picture of Kelly Kelly and Candice Michelle. This is was during the ECW days of um, the ECW expose. So it says love Kelly Kelly, and then over there, love Candice Michelle. There they are together. Um, pretty inappropriate picture though, but we have Kelly Kelly and Candace Michelle. There it is, PSA certain, making it real. Next we have Mr. Kennedy. So Ken Kennedy. There he is, Mr. Ken Kennedy, or Mr. Anderson is later known as. This is a 2005 WWE photo file again in green trunks signed as Mr. Kennedy. Kennedy. Next we have the Olympic great Ken Patera. He wrote Ken Patera, WWF Intercontinental Champion. And there he is with the Intercontinental title when he was a heel. So Ken Patera, WWF IC Champ. Nice one there of the Olympic great Ken Patera. All right, moving on, we have Killer Ken Resnick. He was an interviewer guy in the WWF and also, I believe, in the AWA. Sign up here on top, Killer Ken Resnick in the black. So there he is interviewing Hulk Hogan. And again, just signed up by Killer Ken Resnick on the top. And he always likes to go see T-Mart at the gathering. And he gets drunk, too. Next up, the world's most dangerous man, Ken Shamrock. Sign over there in black. 
on this 1997 WWF promo type picture. So Ken Shamrock's on here in black on a 97 promo picture. Very nice one there of the world's most dangerous man, Ken Shamrock. And again, another one of these dusty, um, you know, type th uh, sleeves. And there's another of Ken Shamrock with the Intercontinental title, signed up here in black as Ken Shamrock. So there he is with the Intercontinental title. And um, Jimmy Rooney says, this year, Ken Resnick will not be attending the gathering. How about the world's most dangerous man, Ken Shamrock? He should go, right, Rooney? There he is, Ken Shamrock. He could put Brad and Brady in the ankle lock. All right, next is a rare one. This is Kendall Wyndham. He's the brother of Barry Wyndham. He was in WCW. I like to say that rap is crap gimmick and stuff like that. So there's Kendall Wyndham. Next we have one member of the Spirit Squad. This is Kenny, Kenny Dykstra, signed right here as Kenny in gray. So this is the Spirit Squad 2006 Pro Picture, but just signed by Kenny up there. And Kenny is um, this guy right here, Kenny Dykstra. Was it Kenny, Mikey, Mitch, Nikki, all those guys, remember them? The Spirit Squad. So Kenny Dykstra signed 2006 WWE promo type picture. Yep, and as Rooney said, we can have the Dudleys put Brad and Brain through a table. <laughs> all right, next we have Kerry Von Erich, the Texas Tornado. So he wrote Kerry Von Erich, Texas Tornado. And there's a nice one there of the Texas Tornado, Kerry Von Erich. I see these days when people try to sell them, they ask for so much money. They ask for like $500 or more. It's crazy. Um, fortunately, I was collecting. This stuff wasn't that expensive, though. There he is, Kerry Von Erich, the Texas Tornado with trophies and stuff. All right, here's another one of Kerry Von Erich, the Texas Tornado. It's personalized to a guy named Danny. So it says, to Danny, um, my best, Kerry Von Erich. And it's under a Texas Tornado photo. So we signed this one as Kerry Von Erich. Very nice photo there of Kerry Von Erich, the late, great Texas Tornado. All right, here's um, Kerwin White. I just saw Rooster House, Michael Bland, signing the other day. He's the guy I'm getting high voltage from. People overpaid for this Kerwin White from him, though. He dual signed mine as Kerwin White and Chavo Guerrero. So nice one there of Kerwin White. I got this from our good pal Daniel Bessels. As, uh, who used to always yell his name? Is that T-Mart? Somebody used to call him on one of those shows. But there's a Kerwin White. Chavo Guerrero dual sign on a Kerwin White 2005 WWE promo type picture. I love that Kerwin White the gimmick. It was great. Shame Eddie died in it at the end. All right, there's Kevin Kelly, a legendary WWF ring announcer. Then he went to like Ring of Honor. Um, was he anywhere else? Really? Did he go to TNA anywhere? This is Kevin Kelly though. He did WWE, WWF, Ring of Honor. Announcer guy for many years, Kevin Kelly. Next, we have Kevin Nash. He wrote K. Nash, NWO for Life. This is when he first debuted, and him and Scott Hall are going to attack Eric Bischoff on Nitro. Again, only signed in red by Kevin Nash, but Hall and Bischoff are in the picture as well. Next, we have a cool dual signed photo. It's signed by Kevin Sullivan and Sir Oliver Humperdinck. Humperdinck has since died. I have no idea who these other people are in the photo, but we have Kevin Sullivan and Sir Oliver Humperdinck. Humperdinck is better well known for managing um, Bam Bam, Paul Orndorff, and um, the fabulous Freebirds as well. So there's Kevin Sullivan with Sir Oliver Humperdinck. And on the back, this is that fan Bob Piveroff meeting Sir Oliver Humperdinck, and he signed it kind of like you know dark on dark, so it's hard to see. But there he is, Sir Oliver Humperdinck. With the fan, Bob Piveroff, who meets a lot of wrestlers. Here's a cool dual sign photo. So we have Kevin Sullivan over here and Nancy Benoit, also known as Woman over there. Woman was married to Kevin Sullivan at one time. Imagine as well in ECW, so there they are together. Kevin Sullivan and Woman. Woman, woman, won't you marry me now? Woo! It's Ric Flair. So Kevin Sullivan and Woman. All right, here's a triple sign one of the Dungeon of Doom from the end days, like a 97. We have Kevin Sullivan on the left, Jacqueline in the middle, and Jimmy Hart on the right. So it's a triple sign photo of the Dungeon of Doom, Kevin Sullivan, Jacqueline, and Jimmy Hart. 
All right, now we have a double signature um, ECW um, photo file picture from 2007 of Kevin Thorne and Ariel. So Ariel signed it as Shelly Martinez Ariel on top, and Kay Thorne for Kevin Thorne there on the right. So they are together, Ariel and Kevin Thorne. And she's also known as Shelly Martinez, so she signed as both ways there in the photo. Next, we have Kerry Von Erich's brother, who's still alive. His name is Kevin Von Erich. And I think he still wrestles. Maybe his sons wrestle, too. So there's Kevin Von Erich. He's tough to get through the mail, too. I tried him a couple times and never get back. Next, we have a cruiserweight from the WWE, like, around 2006. His name is Kid Cash. His face reminds me a little bit of, like, Owen Hart. Does he look a little bit like Owen, Jimmy Rooney? In my opinion, he looks like Owen a little bit. There's Kid Cash. Next, we have the Killer Bees, double signed. So we have B. Brian Blair on the left, jumping Jim Brunzel on the right. There they are together, collectively known as the Killer Bees. And it's not Jeff Bagwell and Craig Biggio. It's B. Brian Blair, jumping Jim Brunzel, the Killer Bees. Legendary tag team from the WWF in the mid and late 80s. And there we have another one. This is a WWF promo picture from 88. This one was personally given to me by Brian Blair when I um, I made his matches on DVD, mailed me this, and I later sent it to Brunzel to add to it. So you wrote, to our friend Todd, be Brian Blair. And then Brunzel wrote, all the best, Todd, your buddy, jumping Jim Brunzel. And then they are together, the Killer Bees, on a 1988 WWF promo picture. Nice, cool signatures and inscriptions by the Killer Bees. All right, next we have a quadruple signature. This is from that um, Toronto show on August 28th, 1986, called The Big Event. And it had like 72,000 fans go to um, the Toronto Blue Jay Stadium at the time, exhibition thing or whatever. Exhibition stadium is called. So the first match was the Killer Bees against the Funk Brothers, and all four men in the match signed it. So right here it says, B. Brian Blair, he's standing on the ring apron. All the best, jumping Jim Brunzel, and he's giving a drop kick right here to Dory Funk or Haas Funk. By the ring apron, um, he signed it as Dory Funk. And then Jimmy Jack Funk standing in the corner, he signed it as Jimmy Jack Funk. Okay, So all four men in this picture signed us again. We have the Killer Bees, so we have Blair there, Brunzel here, Dory Funk on the ring apron, and Jimmy Jack Funk by his corner. So it's a nice quadruple signed photo from the um, the big event in August of 86. All right, next, I'm not sure if I had this one in the spring. I know I got it pretty recently. I got this one from our good pal, Nick Christie. Nick Christie. Can you say Nick Christie, Jimmy Rooney? All right, this is Killer Khan, and there he is coming to the ring in flip-flops. He returned to the WWF in 1987, um, ended Outback Jack's undefeated streak. Feuded with Hogan for a little bit, so it was a big bean man, spit green mist, Killer Khan. And there it is, signed right there as Killer Khan. Uh, very tough autograph to get the big Mongolian monster, Killer Khan. All right, this one I got from Rob Feinstein way back, or Feinstein, however you pronounce it. Um, Killer Khan right here on the bottom. He's wrestling in red. This is from the early 80s. And then Bob Backlund over here on the top. So Bob Backlund in the green over here. Killer Khan in the red over there. So there's a nice dual signed photo of Killer Khan and Bob Backlund. All right, next we have a PSA certified photo. This is the guy who trained Triple H. His name was Killer Kowalski. I believe he cha uh, trained China as well. And it's PSA certified. That means it's real. So there it is, Killer Kowalski. About to get in the ring, and um, this is when he's older, he's like training people. And there in the back is the PSA cert we talked about. Next, we have a dual sign photo of some current product wrestlers. This is Killer Cross, and it says Fall and Prey. And then his manager, Scarlet Bordeaux, or Bordeaux. So the lovely Scarlet and Killer Cross in a dual sign photo together. Next, we have Kimberly Page, and she signed it right here, down here by her um, bikini, um, you know, her two-piece top. So it's Kimberly Page right there, and she's with her pierced belly button ring and a bikini, posing for the fans. So this is Kimberly Page, the wife of Diamond Dallas Page. All right, here's another one of Kimberly Page, signed over here in blue. 
Nice cool pose there of Kimberly Page. Next, we have um, another gimmick of Steve Lombardi as he managed Kamal. He's known as Kimchi, signed up there on top. So he's wearing the Kimchi helmet, Steve Lombardi as Kimchi. And there's the signature one more time. Next, we have the lady who likes dancing on top of the ECW arena, Kimona Wanalea. And there's a sign right there in blue, clear. She's got the towel on. This is when she dances on top of the ECW arena. Joey Styles used to love plugging that in all the home videos. Kimona Wanalea. Next, we have King Kong Bundy on a WWF-type um, promo picture from 86. And even wrote, King Kong Bundy, five count. The man loves five count, so he actually inscribed five count. Very, very cool picture there of King Kong Bundy. And here's a second one of King Kong Bundy. Signed right here in blue across his chest. So we have the walking condominium, King Kong Bundy. All right, next we have, um, this one came from our pal Richie Sorrentino, the GTG cert. This is Kip Sabian and Penelope Ford. Penelope Ford, a kind of a hot diva. And the man she manages is named Kip Sabian. I don't know much about Kip Sabian, but I remember seeing Penelope Ford at some indie shows I would attend. So there's Penelope Ford, along with her man, Kip Sabian. Nice dual sign photo of them. Next, we have a rare gimmick. This guy had like maybe two or three matches in 2009. His name was Kizarni. He had more, his vignettes were like two or three months, and the guy had like three matches. It's a joke. So he wrote Kizarni Sin Bodhai. So there's a cool photo there of the rare gimmick, Kazarni. Not many graphs out there of him. But if I tried selling this now, it'd probably be a lot, right, Rudy? Because nobody else has him. If you use the phrase, can't get him no more, and crap like that. So there he is, Kazarni. Kizadine, Kizadine. This one I got from our good pal, Nick Christie, at a signing. It's Cloudy. So she wrote, Cloudy of the Body Donnas, WWF 1996. So there's Chris Candido and Tom Pritchard, you know, skip and zip the Body Donnas. Along with the brief manager for the summer of 96, Cloudy, which is a man dressed in drag. I have no idea what his real wrestling name was or he was in the indie scene, but his name is Cloudy. Next we have SOS, da, 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 Kofi Kingston with the United States Championship. So a pretty cool WWE photo file of Kofi Kingston from 2009. And he has the United States title in hand with him. Next we have the Birdman, Coco Beware, and he wrote Coco Beware, Hall of Fame 2009, and even draws some cool birds on it. So nice, interesting photo there of Coco Beware coming down the aisle with Frankie, and he nice, cool inscription there with the Hall of Fame and everything with the bird draw. And here's a second one of Coco Beware from the High Energy Days. So pretty cool photo there of Coco Beware as one half of High Energy when he teamed up with Owen Hart. Next, we have Conan, and he just signs it as K-Dog down there. So there's Conan on a WCW photo file from 98. So cool photo there of Conan. Next, we have um, Crystal. I think she like tried to marry Teddy Long one time on SmackDown or something. This came from Wrestling Inc., so Bill Paley. This is Crystal. Let's close up with her. All right, next, a super rare one. Um, it's a magazine page signed by Chronic, which were Crush and Adam Bomb, also known as Brian Adams and Brian Clark. So right here, um, it says B. Clark here by Adam Bomb. That's what his name was. Brian Adams, who was crushed and died in 2007. He signed it over there. So a nice dual signed photo of Chronic, Brian Adams, and Brian Clark. I think when I bought this, I paid about 35 bucks, But knowing how the autograph market got crazy in, like, 2008, I have no idea what this would go for today. It's probably insane. Probably at least double. At least 60 bucks, I'd say. So, Brian Adams, Brian Clark, Chronic on a magazine page. Next, we have Kurgan. So, Kurgan was a part of the Truth Commission and later the Oddities and stuff. So, there's Big Kurgan. Here's our Olympic gold uh, medal, uh, Olympic gold medalist. Uh, Kurt Angle in a 1999 WWF promo picture. 
And it's also JSA certed, making it real. So this is a new one. I used to have a different Kurt Angle. I traded it out. So he signed up here as Kurt Angle. Then he wrote, it's true, it's true. So pretty cool inscription. It is a WWF 1999 original promo picture. And Kurt Angle, you suck, you suck. And then in the back is his JSA cert that goes with it. Here's another, this is a nice dual sign one of when Kurt Angle was the world champion in early 2001. It was managed by Trish Stratus. So he wrote Kurt Angle, WWE champ. And then she wrote Trish Stratus, love on top. So there it is, a nice dual sign photo signed in blue of Kurt Angle and Trish Stratus. So look at that gorgeous picture of the two of them together. Any comments, Rooney, as I'm going? All right, next we have Quang the Ninja, who also was Savio Vega. This is when he was Quang. Next we have um, some, I guess she's on the indie scene or maybe some other organization I don't know about. Her name is Kylie Ray. So this is Kylie Ray. She's got like always like a smiley face on and stuff like that. Kylie Ray. I think she was at some signing I did when I met, when I met Mike McGurk. I didn't get by her then, but I saw her there. So Kylie Ray. All right, next we have a rare one. This is La Porca, you know, the king of the chair. He loves to swing. He's pretty expensive if you look for him. So the skeleton man, the king of the chair, La Porca, great Mexican wrestler in WCW um, in the mid and late 90s. Next we have um, La Resistance. This is the original version. So it's Sylvain Granier, René Dupree. So they are together, La Resistance, Sylvain Granier, René Dupree. And this is another version of La Resistance. This is Sylvain Granier and Rob Conway on a 2004 WWE promo picture. So Sylvain Granier here, Rob Conway over there. And there's a sec the second version there of La Resistance. All right. And speaking of French, we have Lacey Evans. I know she had some angle where she was like with Ric Flair one time. They were heels together trying to feud with Charlotte. I don't know if she's still wrestling or not. Her name's Lacey Evans, though. Next, we have the um, daughter of the Texas Tornado, Carrie Von Erich. Her name is Lacey Von Erich, so it says, Love, Lacey Von Erich. And there she is on a TNA promo picture. We saw earlier the uh, triple sign Beautiful People one, but there's Lacey Von Erich by herself. Here's a second one of Lacey Von Erich, and it's Adam Masada's favorite kind of photos. He calls them nudes. All right, so we have Lacey Von Erich, JSA certed photo, making it real. So there she is, Lacey Von Erich, the daughter of Kerry. And there in the back is the um, JSA sticker. Next, we have an ECW um, manager. Her name was Lady Alexandra. Signed over here, Lady Alexandra. There she is sticking her um, you know, titties out and stuff like that. Lady Alexandra from ECW. All right, next we have um, the first wife of Steve Austin. Her name was um, Lady Blossom. She's also known as Jeannie Clark, though. So it says right here, Lady Blossom, Jeannie Clark. So you just signed as Jeannie Clark, I believe. But she was known as Lady Blossom as the manager of Steve Austin in WCW back in 1991 when he was starting out. And he was the um, television champion and everything. So there's Lady Blossom with Austin, just signed by Jeannie Clark, Lady Blossom. Next we have Lana, and you know she married Rusev. This is in 2016 on a promo picture. Just signed by Lana. So we have Lana over here. Next we have a second photo signed by Lana on a 2014 WWE photo file. So this is Lana. So we have two photos of Lana. Next we have Lance Cassidy. So he wrote to Todd Lance Cassidy, rare gimmick there of Steve Armstrong. So Lance Cassidy. And in the back, he mailed me um, when Dwight put the kick me hard sign. It says to Todd Lance Cassidy. Next, we have a triple sign photo. So it's Lance Storm over here in the silver. Dawn Marie in the middle in blue. And Just Incredible there on the left. So it's Lance Storm, Dawn Marie, and Just Incredible together. Triple signed photo from ECW. Next we have Lanny Poffo, the genius. We signed it right there. Lanny Poffo. There he's with his robe and everything like that. Ready to recite a poem. Good friend of mine. I used to talk to him on the phone. Sadly tra passed away a few months ago though. 
Lanny Poffo, the genius. Here's a second one of the genius Lanny Poffo. So he wrote the genius Lanny Poffo. And there he is there, st standing right there. Next we have a PSA certed photo. It's Larry the Axe Henning. So he wrote Larry the Axe Henning, and there he is on a PSA certified photo. And there in the back is the certification. Next we have the legendary Larry Sabisco. He signed right here as Larry Sabisco with an AWA title. Larry Sabisco. All right, next we have a triple sign photo. It's um, Team Lay Cool, which was Michelle McCool and Layla, and also a guy named Caval or Caval. I don't know who he was, but there um, is the triple sign. So there's Michelle McCool, 2011. Love Layla, something princess, and there's Caval, 2011. So a triple sign one of Team Lay Cool. Again, Michelle McCool, Layla, and Caval. Next we have a solo one of Layla, signed right here as Layla. On the WWE 2006 promo picture. Here's another one of Layla in a bikini, signed as Layla. And then we have a triple sign one on a WWE 2007 photo file. So it's Layla over there, the lovely Kelly Kelly in the middle, and Brooke Adams or Brooke Tesmaka, as uh, Richie and them like to say, or was that John says that? So we have Layla. Kelly Kelly and um, Brooke, triple sign on a WWE photo file. So again, there's a close-up of the autographs. Next, we have Lasertron, which is a rare gimmick. I believe this was played by, was that Brad Armstrong played Lasertron, or who was that? Lasertron. There is the lightweight title. Sign over here again as Lasertron. And next we have Legacy on a like a WWF photo mat type thing. So it says Cody Rhodes Legacy 2009, Ted DiBiase Jr. Legacy. So nice early signatures of Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase Jr. when they were part of Legacy. And last but not least here in this binder we have the Legion of Doom Hawk and Animal. Okay, so we're gonna see, show them right here. So we have um, Hawk signed right up here. And then animal right here by the shoulder pad. So tough to see, a little tough to see here, like the dark on dark. But there's hawk, there's animal, and together they are the Legion of Doom. So nice, nice photo of them. This is from probably around '97 or '98. This was signed. So again, hawk and animal, Legion of Doom. All right, this wraps up binder seven. I'll do binder eight in a moment, and then we'll probably you know take a break for today. All right, be back in a moment.